I'll have to do. Hi hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do another sketch and draw with me because I really enjoy doing these and they're just a little bit more chill and more vlog-like and they just give me time to do some more concept art and stuff. So today we'll be doing a um, snow cat prince piece. So I'm gonna design the snow cat princes because uh, I have like a vague idea of what I want for the story but I think if I design them a little bit more they might um, take more shape in my in my head. I still have to write it, as I said, uh, but I just want to go for it. I just want to sit and sketch with you guys, and I'll talk, and you can have me on the background. You can do whatever you want. Uh, and I kind of feel cozy, and I kind of feel chill today. I didn't have a good day yesterday. Um, it's kind of insane how much up and down art life can have. Uh, I got some really really good freelance work done and it actually pays for my whole month when it comes to rent and food which is really really good so hopefully I get more of that and it just makes me a bit more secure and a bit more yeah relaxed <laughs> like okay cool I can do this now and uh, yeah so that was a long intro but I hope you guys will like this and enjoy me sketching and designing and trying to talk while I design because that's interesting. Uh, more interesting than when I just do a voiceover, I believe. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's do it! Also, update on my plant. I finally got a cheese plant leaf in. Yay! I don't know how to take care of these. I'm trying my best, uh, but I'm not very good, I think. So if anyone has any tips on these plants, please tell me. Because I really love it, and this this leaf is really new, so it's still a bit soft, but um, I had to tie it together because it was spreading, so I don't know. I'm not very good <laughs> plant mom, tell me what to do. Let's get some sketching done. I'm just going to use some normal paper, um, like printing paper, because I'm cheap and I don't want to find the sketchbook, and I have this on hand, so. Where is my pencil? Here it is. So the, the thing that I've already decided is to have seven brothers and youngest. I don't know what his name will be. I don't know what his name will be, but main character. And <laughs> see, this is just where I just sit and and brainstorm but I think it's a good way for you guys to just see my thought process when I'm designing so this is stuff I already thought about and um, I'm just kind of building on it so they're giant cat hush hush they're <laughs> maybe we can even put them as a subspecies of what cat is but um, they're definitely a hush hush, but they're a giant cat. So we need to sketch some tigers and leons. Leons, actually. <laughs> um, and we can probably mix their design with. Maybe reindeer would be good. Cool. Reindeer. I don't know, I always like putting dragons in there. Just because they kind of don't look completely like cats. Like, I don't want to just take a big cat and scale it up. Um, I want them to do something interesting at least. So I'm gonna find some references. I don't know if I'll give them antlers. I haven't decided yet. Because they're going to be a breed. The Snuka Prince himself is going to be small. He's going to be the youngest of seven brothers anyway. Oh, pretty, yes. Oh, yes. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Okay. <laughs> see, this is what I like. Just putting random creatures together and see if I can do something cool. I always love these two pictures. Always, always. So, I'm always gonna put that in there. Uh, 
Alright, okay, so I think I have some good ideas now, so I'm just gonna open this. This is my, my mood board for today. And I'm, 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 I'm interested. I'm interested in what a reindeer cat would look. So if we get his big head in... I have my references to the side here so I can scroll up and down. But if I put it in the picture, you guys might not see everything. Maybe they will be crested, like, not fully like a reindeer, but kind of like a crested gecko, you know? Oh, that's cool. I'm not opposed to this. See, not like completely like a cat nose, but almost, but it's definitely a cat feel to it. Yeah, what I was going to say is that my boyfriend, of course, wanted them to be fluffy but when they're young they can be fluffy you know like it was his original like phrase that got me inspired to do this book and that was he just said it's like a snow cat prince when he saw a white cat in the snow and i said that was the perfect like storybook character you know And he was like, it needs to be a kettle cat. <laughs> you know, when, when the cats are like sitting in the snow and they're like, like that. Because <laughs> they're so, so fluffy. <laughs> like that. <laughs> the kettle cat. <sighs> maybe, maybe I should even create stickers called cat cats. And then this is the kettle cat. <laughs> Handle. <laughs> Let's try another sketch with some more details on the eyes and crests. And I still need to figure out how the young ones look, you know? This is like the old one. Right now I'm looking at this reference just so you guys know this one. Um, because I love how the, sh the, the f you can see the, the um, cheekbone kind of sticking out. I quite like that. This one. I just need to get this fluffier, kind of fluffed up. I know you're maybe not supposed to love your own ideas, but I'm happy with this. <laughs> I was wondering how I was going to make them different. And this seems to be the thing, I guess. I don't know, I think their bodies will be quite normal. That does not look like a cat. Shoot. Doesn't look completely right to be honest here. I think we need to get some more fluff out from the side. Look at that. I want him to look more like a normal cat, you know? But he's definitely gonna have two bumps here. Two bumps at the side. Some more smaller ones. Just to hint at where he's from, you know? Let's do a snow cat prince here and then we'll do some more actual watercolor sketching, I think. So I know I want to give him a kettle shape like this because I promised my boyfriend and it's kind of fun that the kids are kettle shaped. 
Alright, I think he'll probably look more like that because that looks a bit more grown up. I like that more. Alright, so I got one sketch page. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can make some expressions with the snuggle prints. I don't know if this video is just gonna be me sketching or if it's gonna be more. We'll just see. We'll just go along and see. So I know his, his main shape will be a triangle. Or a kettle, as we could say. So we'll have his ears sticking up like that. Let's have him. Let's have him surprised. I kind of want to see what that looks like. Mm, that doesn't look right. Why doesn't that look right? Let's just start with his normal expression and we'll move from there. Usually I would do this digitally because it's a lot easier to get it right. So at least that looks right. So let's try moving that to like another face. <laughs> that looks like something from Lion King. For some reason I thought drawing expressions on this guy would be easy, but it's clearly not. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you know what, let's put his ears in a different position just to try it. That looks a bit better, but I'm, I'm still not quite sure about him. Hmm. I think what I need to figure out is how he smiles. <laughs> I think that's a big part. How does he smile? Because I can stylize it, stylize it quite a lot and I could weird <laughs> no 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 it all looks evil <laughs> to, be, to be perfectly honest <laughs> but let me see so they draw the smile upper smile like that and like that Almost, we're getting there. Yeah, I think we have to open his eyes. Oh my god, is this so hard? Why is this so hard? Can I just do that? Before I can like easily draw characters, well, animal characters smile and stuff but it's really hard right now i'm gonna struggle a bit more and then we're gonna do something else I guess we just need to get used to drawing him because now it's going a bit more smoothly. <laughs> just trying to to get him, you know? 
guest a character. Should have started on the other side of the page. <laughs> Cause I'm smudging everything as I go along. Okay, so definitely got the hang of him. I, I know I need to sketch a lot more to kind of get him even better before I actually do the story. Um, but I do still have to write like <laughs> his book, um, his journey. And But it's it's slowly getting there. Like this was the first try like and then warmed up quite a lot uh, moving around. This one's weird. This looks like a guinea pig. <laughs> but um, it, it it's good, it's good. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this. Now we have two pages of sketching. So I am going to do some watercolors, I think. I'm gonna do one of these big dudes and put them kind of in together as I have in my brain. I kind of want to try it, so I'm gonna do that. So we've done these sketches. I will have to do more. Um, this is not the end of the sketching. Uh, but for this video, I thought we would do some watercoloring and do some exploration that way. I was thinking I could do a full piece, like an actual like painting, but I think I might rather just get some paper and, and sketch um, because I, I just like testing colors and stuff. Um, so I'll find my watercolor paper and then I will sketch some on it and we'll try doing it in the style that I want to do it and uh, see what comes out of it. Okay, so I don't think I have the watercolor paper I usually use. So I'm gonna use this, which is more textured. Can you see that? It's super textured. So I'm gonna use this instead. Um, I'm just gonna do more sketching like I did, but as I said, more in the style that it's going to be and also plop me on some watercolor. So one of my biggest inspirations, just give me a second, I'll find it, is, um, Alessandro Barbucci and he does like really cool sketches like watercolor sketches so wait like I absolutely like I love his stuff is one of my main biggest inspirations you guys know that if you've been asking me before um, and I just really love how he sketches with watercolor like this this makes me very happy <laughs> uh, everything but I'm gonna try something like like that. Just like sketch on the paper and see what comes out of it. <laughs> Pretty much. So, front sketch sketching. I was originally going to try and, and use the materials that I bought and I used some of it last week, but um, the ink didn't, wasn't waterproof, so now I'm not. <laughs> So I need to get, there was someone, I'll pop your name up here, who recommended this other grey waterproof ink. So I am going to order that. Uh, and hopefully that will work. Thank you so much for recommending that, by the way. Um, I had not done my research well enough, I think. I kind of love their faces now, because they look kind of eerie. Like... Like eerie, like you shouldn't, you look too human in a way, and I love that. That's like, I love it. Thank you. 
try getting another face in here just for fun you know as you can see I'm just like treating it as concept art piece but also an art piece so I'm kind of like filling up the space because the whole story is he is very um, controlled by his brothers and that is why he feels like he needs to do what they tell him to do so I want this to be kind of overwhelming with all the the big princes in the background And I promise you, the biggest is gonna be big. <laughs> and I'm gonna have them on the cover as well, like the biggest they can be. <laughs> Just because it's it's quite interesting. I have a, have have the idea for the cover, and it's I'm I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I just need to write the story first, and then uh, we'll do it. You know. Taking it a bit too far, I think, but oh well, <laughs> you know, that's just what we do. So, what am I going to do? <laughs> Let's use some of the indigo to because originally. I have been experimenting with giving them a bit more color, but they are kind of supposed to be white. But you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. Maybe I'll treat it more as a shading than anything. I think. Slight bit of pink is alright as well because it's just like natural discoloration in colors, you know. I don't know if I should talk or not, because usually when I do these things I might talk too much and the video will be too long. 
and harder to edit. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just shutting up a little bit. I'm gonna mix some burnt umber with my indigo that I'm using because that creates a really nice dark black color that I can kind of fade in here. That's something I'll probably experiment with digitally because um, it's easier to do it that way. I could do it more sketch like like this, but it's easier to experiment with color digitally. In my mind at least. It's definitely gonna be lighter than them right now. I'm not gonna darken it much more. And I want the brother's eyes to be completely maybe not brown. Hazel. Of a blue, but they already have so much blue in them, they'd be kind of weird, like it's kind of stupid giving them blue eyes. I feel like I want to put more color in, but I know I shouldn't. <laughs> because they are supposed to be pure. Oh. Maybe... Maybe the younger ones do have stripes, but they're really, really faint. And then the reason... They know that they can have stripes, but it's considered... To be something a kid have so you go on this trip that the youngest cat prince is going to do to remove the last faint lines but stuff happens and that doesn't happen <laughs> that's kind of a cute way to put it isn't it i don't know i am just figuring this out so, all right, I quite like that. Shall we try? I, I did use this last video, but I didn't quite explain what it is. But it's a um, shimmery, ultra soft uh, pan pastel with shimmer in it. So as you can see, it's like shimmery, and it was really fun using it last time. So I'm gonna try using it again. I don't know what to <laughs> brush to use it with though. I don't think I have any, maybe I have a big, ooh, this one might work. This last time I was just using my finger. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> I don't know, can you see that? It's just fading out my colors a little bit. I kind of sort of want to, um give the snow cat prince like the young one that we're following something that the adults don't have well i guess you can't see the difference because he's smaller and he doesn't have his crests yet i 
and their eyes will be a dark purple maybe? I can show you guys the shimmer. See? See? It's on his stripes. Ha ah. Light. See the light is coming in? That means I need to stop. <laughs> stop my art. This is too bright. But yeah, guys, I think that's it for this video. As you guys can see, we got some more designing done on these guys which is very exciting because it needs to happen to for the story to evolve and now i kind of have an idea what to do for um writing and that will be the next step i won't include that in the video i think uh i probably just will include the art side of this um maybe my patrons will be getting the the actual text but for now that's how it's gonna be um wait let me turn back to my face oh okay there we go. <laughs> um, so this is pretty with the setup and everything, but yeah, that was that was fun. I'm happy I did that. I've been stalling for a while and I needed to do it. But as you guys can see, I still need to do an actual um, sheet, like a design sheet. Uh, what do you call it? Character sheet, character page for the prince, the young prince. This is a good start. I got some expressions done. I got his design done i think it might change i don't know um his race is done <laughs> so the snowcat princes actually have a look now which is really cool and and yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed watching another one of these really long um chill videos i i quite enjoy you making them because it's just me sitting and talking while i'm drawing and um, maybe you picked up some stuff that you might want to use yourself uh, and how i do stuff so yeah i hope you guys liked it i'm gonna film some cool shots of this and then i'm gonna end the video so thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you next week bye bye